Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we are first going to start with Queen Nina. She is in labor right now, um, although she seems to be more interested in the computer. Um, but she will be giving birth in just a minute, and then we are also going to focus on the royal family of Oasis Springs because Prince Adrian is now an adult. Um, so it looks like Queen Nina, oh, she's just running to the restroom. So we want her to give birth right now. Um, it looks like Prince Johan is, seems to be crying. So we need to give him some food because I don't, I don't know if that's what's wrong or if he just like really needs attention, but he is crying a lot. So I'm going to send, uh, King, oh gosh, I'm going to send, send King Jared over there to do that while Nina is giving birth. Um, so let us see what she has. Oh gosh, one last push, Nina, you got it. And King, jo uh, sorry, King Jared is just like staring at her like, uh, are you okay? All right. Okay, we have a another boy. Um, so for the this boy, I'm going to name him. I think we're going to go with James. Um, so we're gonna do Prince James. Um, it's because I feel like that's a very popular name. Um, it's well, like it's a very royally popular name. Let's put it that way. Um, well, actually. Yeah, no, we're going to go with James. I was going to say, like, maybe we should name him after... I don't remember what Nina's dad's name was. I should have checked. If they have another boy, maybe I will name um, them after Nina's father. I was going to say, I'm not going to name it after Prince Jared's father because Prince Jared's father, they're not getting along with him right now. So we're going to go with Prince James. Um, so I will go ahead and do that. And then, so now we have two boys... Do we want another child? I don't know. Princess Cora already has three kids. So that's one um, kingdom, the ruler. They have three kids. And then I'm debating if I want the Win royal family of Windenburg to have another child. If they do, the child would be like slightly behind the other two children. Um, because the other two children were born really close together. Oh gosh, they're making her go to work as like literally after she's given birth. All right, fine. So, okay, so we have our two boys. So we have two boys now, um, and we are going to go ahead and travel to the royal family of Oasis Springs to um, play from the view of Prince Adrian. So we are now playing through the view of Prince Adrian of Oasis Springs, and as you can see, he has grown up quite a lot. So he's become a young adult. He, ha he looks like way more like an adult now. Um, I think it's the facial hair more than anything, and his hairstyle changed a little bit as well. So we are taking Princess Lindsay, or not Princess, oh gosh, Lady Lindsay. We're taking her out on a date. So we are at the Brindleton Yacht Club. Uh, so this is in Brindleton Bay. So basically his brother, King Jared, has suggested this amazing restaurant to Prince Adrian. So he was saying that you should try taking her here. Um, and he's planning on proposing because... His parents are being a little pushy and wanting him to get engaged as soon as possible because uh, they were kind of expecting to already, like, they missed their first son's wedding because they didn't want to go because they he was marrying Nina out of, or Prince Jared was marrying Nina um, out of their wishes. Is that the right word? Or is that the right way to say it? Um, against their wishes. That's it. Um, so against their wishes, he was marrying uh, Nina because she comes from a poor family. They didn't want him to marry her because they didn't want her to be the new ruler of their kingdom. Uh, so they were just being very picky about it. But now they know that uh, Prince Adrian is destined to be the king now. They have trained him. They've kind of had to train him a little bit last minute. But now they're saying like, now that you're young, you are a young adult, you need to propose to Lindsay because you guys have, they've been together for a really long time. I mean, if you think about it, it's been a long, it's been a quite a few episodes since uh, Prince Jared, or now King Jared, um, broke up with Lady Lindsay for Nina. And then they kind of wanted Lady Lindsay to get together with Prince Adrian. So now they are together. Um, so he's brought her to this beautiful restaurant, and it is. It's really beautiful here. I don't, I've never actually had Sims eat here before. We even have the Duke and Duchess of Willow Creek here. We should probably introduce ourselves to them. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and do that, do a polite introduction. It looks like he has to get up to do that. Um, but 
He's going to introduce them, himself to them. And I'm sorry, I'm like trying to burp as well. I'm talking, so sorry if I sound a little funny. Oh, whew, okay, excuse me. Um, so we are going to have him introduce himself to them. And then we will sit and talk with Lady Lindsay. Um, so we're going to order for the table. We should order our food and then we can hopefully propose to her too if this goes well. I kind of just want to get her in a little bit more of a romantic mood so we should probably flirt with her a bit. So I'm just going to speed through him meeting the Duke and Duchess of Willow Creek because we don't need to see all of this. Uh, so I think he's kind of, is he related to Lady Olivia or Duchess Olivia? He might be. Let's see. Everyone is kind of just related to everyone here, so it's quite possible. So, oh yeah, it looks like Prince Adrian is now an insider since he became an adult, so he just kind of knows the scoop about everyone. So we are going to, oh, and now he has a great reputation, so that's good. It's good to have a really good reputation um, when you are going to become the king of a, cat, of a kingdom. Uh, so it looks like we're ordering our food already, so why don't we just do like the best wine, and then we want to do, uh, let's see, with some really good food, the lobster. They can both get like different versions of the lobster. Oh, I forgot to give that to her. So they're going to get different kinds of lobster. Um, okay, so great reputation, yes, that is good. So he's also now part of the political career, so he's doing pretty decent, especially for just having been an adult, so. Um, we still need to secure some votes and get his charisma level up. So maybe we can convince Lady Lindsay to vote for him. I'm sure she can. So we're going to... Oh, come on, dude. Pay attention to your date. You are just not... All right, secure vote. All right, go talk to Lady Lindsay now. Because I was hoping that if he was ordering food that he would just go straight to the table, but I guess not. All right, maybe I just have to exit out of his group conversation. Well, it looks like he's getting along really well with the Duke and Duchess of Willow Creek. And he's actually not related to the Duchess of Willow Creek. I just checked and I forgot to say something about it. So yeah, it looks like they're just friends. They're not actually related. Um, okay, King Easton and Queen Arya earned a ton of money. Um, and it looks like Prince Adrian did. He got up to the second charisma level. Uh, so seriously, go sit down and talk to your date. I think because I was saying, okay, can you just sit please? I think because I had said talk to Lady Lindsay, it just had Lady Lindsay join the group chat. The group chat? That always makes me think of a text message um, of the group conversation. So we are going to try to flirt with her a little bit more. Um, I don't know why he's not sitting. He should. Okay, there we go. So we're going to flirt with her and then hopefully propose to her. By the end of the date so we can blow a kiss it looks like she is feeling flirty and he he is also feeling flirty so maybe this would be a good time to propose so why don't we do that are we gonna get that option yes propose I still don't understand why if you propose it like gives you fame points it seems odd to me so oh this is such a cute little like date I love this all right, so if he proposes, it's going to be in the restaurant. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, okay. I His outfit, I don't, I like kind of remember picking that out. Not really. I think I was just trying to update his wardrobe a little bit uh, to be like a little bit more mature. So I guess that is what we went with. I didn't even realize that. So now he is going to propose to her and I want to get a really good view of this too. So it is really bright in here. Everyone is just like super exposed. Can I change that really quickly? So it's, oh, I can't, I can't change it. Well, I can turn off the lights though. So just turn off, what if I just turn off? Oh no, okay, that's too much. Wow, there's just like a ton of lights in here then. All right, nope, not turn off, turn on. I'm gonna turn on this light. And then, let's see, where are the other lights? Is it going to show me the other lights? Where is all that lights coming from? Oh, this room. So that turned off, like, literally every light. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, all right. Well, then I'll just turn back on all the lights, I guess. Turn on. Um, nope. Yep. Turn on this room. And then everyone's super exposed. And then set color. How about this room? Then I can turn it down. Dimmer. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's better. 
Yep, much better. All right, let me turn it like just a little. Oh, nope, too much, too much, too much. Okay, here we go. All righty. So now we have a great view and perfect lighting for them to get engaged. It looks like we even have the paparazzi here too. Okay, oh good, okay, sorry. I just wanted to, oh yeah, the pap paparazzi is definitely like in her face a little bit too much. I hope she says yes. She has a really worried look on her face, so hopefully she says yes. Oh good, okay, she's happy. She's happy about it. Good. Uh, oh, and now we get a face. Oh, where did they go? What in the world? Oh, okay, they just jumped over there. Who is that? He is got his face all in the camera. Okay, so now they are engaged. So that's awesome. So we're probably going to wait just like a little bit. I don't know. I think that the king and queen really want grandkids. Um, so I think that they might push them to have kids or to have their wedding pretty soon so we might actually have that within the next few episodes um so we will just have to see so okay great so they're taken care of um so now we're going to jump over to the royal family of windenburg with queen alice and king henry because i want them to try for a baby so we're going to go ahead and do that so we are back at the Palace of Windenburg and Princess, or Queen Alice, oh my gosh, I still have to get used to that. Queen Alice is taking care of her two baby girls, so I want them to try for a baby, um, and also, uh, Queen, oh gosh, Princess Al or Queen Alice, uh, she is supposed, oh no, what am I saying, oh my goodness, Princess Amira, I was right, it was Princess, Princess Amira should be changing into a toddler too, so I think we're going to go ahead and age her up as well. So we are just going to have first Queen Alice try for a baby with King Henry IV, um, and then we will age up Princess Amira. So I just need to fill up their needs, and then, okay, let's see, why are we waiting for that? How is Princess Anna doing? She is going to be changing into a young adult very, very soon. So we still have, we have two days before she changes into a young adult. So we will definitely have, oh, okay. We don't have like any teenagers left, what? That's so weird. Um, so this is Lady Malaya, so she's the daughter of, um, I think it's the, oh, who, oh shoot, what is it? I think it's like Burl or the Marquis or something of Brindleton Bay. Um, because they own like a bunch of restaurants. So they're pretty wealthy and powerful family. They became good friends with King Jared and uh, Queen Nina. So she is also now technically a noble, uh, she comes from a noble family as well. So that's Lady Malaya. So she's new. So we will have to meet her so we can introduce you guys to her as well. And then we have Princess Anna. How is she doing in school? She is... Her manners are doing really well. Responsibility, not so much. She needs to do her homework if we can find her, if we can find her homework. Um, but it looks like she also needs to take care of her nieces. So she's doing that already, so that's good. She'll take care of them. We're going to bottle feed and just let's see and just maybe cuddle them just give them some attention and just ignore her brother and sister-in-law uh woohooing in just the next room okay so let's check to see if queen alice is pregnant hopefully she is and then let's look at pregnancy test um and then we will age up princess amira looks like we need to change her diaper first though so we'll go ahead and do that. We are eating for two, yay, we are pregnant. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we are going to expect our third child. So Princess Alice is going to tell uh, King Henry the great news. And now we are going to have the age up. Good, okay, so here comes the baby. Coming, becoming a toddler, Princess Amira has aged up. Alright, so what kind of person would Princess Amira be? I think she would be, well, definitely Princess May seemed to be the wild one because it said that Princess Cora was calling King Henry to spread some gossip about Princess May, so it sounds like she's already being a little wild as an infant. Um, so I'm going to have Princess Amira, she's going to be, hmm... Let's do clingy because I feel like I've done like charmer a lot and angelic a lot, but we're gonna do clingy. 
so she should definitely be a little bit clingy. She's not not going to be very independent then, I guess. Okay, and so this is Princess Amira. So I just need to change, like, some of her clothes, but looks like she's blonde. Let's see, does she have, um, I want to see if she has whose eyes she has because her father has very blue eyes and her mother has brown eyes. So it looks like she has her father's eyes. So we have a blonde baby. I wonder if all the kids are going to be blonde again because that's how it was um, with King Henry and his two sisters. They were both really blonde. So I feel like, it, like, isn't Burnett supposed to overtake the blonde gene or something? But I feel like the blonde one has been taking over. So maybe the royal family of Windenburg was just like meant to be blonde. Um, so yeah, so we covered a lot in this episode. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. We're just like continuing to add more progress to each of the families and they're all, all the families are just like continuing with their lives and, and having babies and proposing and getting married. So that is kind of what the theme is going to be like for the next few episodes. Um, but you'll kind of get to see like who gets together with who and, and, um, the kids grow up and everything. You guys will also have to let me know how much longer you want me to do this, um, series because I could honestly continue this for so long. I do have a good amount of you who seem to really enjoy it and seem to watch all the videos. So, of course, we can, like, make some changes, um, in the series so that, like, uh, other interesting stuff happens. Um, so I was thinking of having, like, Maybe the reign of an evil king or queen or something along those lines. So uh, you guys will just have to give me your input. I would love to start a new series as well. Um, I think when I just saw the announcement for the Strangers Bill pack, um, so I'm thinking of doing like a, re a review for that or some gameplay for that when that comes out. But I know a lot of other um, much bigger channels will be doing that too. So you guys will just have to let me know what you think. Um, and if you have any other suggestions for series, I mean, feel free to. I, I might not take them all, um, just because starting a new series is a huge thing. It's not just like making a change in a current series. Um, but I would love to hear suggestions anyway. Um, I love, like, princesses, like Disney princesses. So if you guys want to see, like, a Disney princess sort of version of a challenge, I don't really follow, like, rules of challenges too much. I just kind of make my own. But um, if you guys want to see something like that, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. Um, and then I'm trying to think what else. I love like the whole get famous pack too, but I know other people have get famous packs as well. So maybe I'll just try other, um, I'll look up other challenges and, and find something just a little bit more unique and different because I know this, uh, series is more unique than I've seen anyone else do. I haven't really seen someone do much of this. Like they do like a Royal Kingdom challenge, but not so much of like what we've done. So anyway, yeah, sorry, that was a bit of a rant, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to stop this here. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and share and like and all of that jazz, um, and we will see you guys the next episode.